When we last saw the incident, the fitter had tightened the coupling but had not noticed the loose clamps on the brackets supporting the same fuel oil line. However, he did see the missing insulation on the exhaust bellows, but decided not to do anything about it, as another engineer had been tasked to work on that part of the engine. The second engineer was satisfied that the work was completed and went on with his own work. Later that day, the engine was restarted. However, a few hours later, the fuel oil line, which was vibrating, eventually sheared at the place where the fitter had tightened the coupling. This allowed fuel oil from the line to spray directly onto the hot exposed part of the exhaust bellows, which were around 400 degrees Celsius. This caused a flash fire, which quickly spread. The fire alarm was activated and the second engineer, who was working in the control room at the time, wanted to quickly investigate the source of the fire, but became engulfed by the smoke before he could evacuate. Okay, guys, let's see who is here. Yeah. As the fire intensified, the ship's crew went to the emergency muster point. Okay. It was urgently decided to send a two-man crew to the engine room to try and locate and rescue the second engineer. The two men entered the engine room. But only one returned. With continued firefighting, the fire was eventually brought under control. The bodies of the two men were later found in the completely burned out engine room. The families of the two men were subsequently advised of the loss of their loved ones. Let us pause for a moment and reflect on all the lives that have been lost while working.